Hello from the Blaster, and welcome to episode number 37 of our Pokemon Sacred Gold Nuzlocke here on the channel. In the last episode, you guys, we went ahead and took on the pewter gym leader himself, who goes by the name of Barak, and for our first Kanto region gym bag. And, uh, we kind of got blown back by <laughs> something you wouldn't think anyone could ever get blown back by, so... I don't know if you want to count that as a new record, or... Or whatever, but anyways, today we're all grinded up and ready to take on Mount Moon, so if you guys are hype, make sure you smash the welcome to... That, that. Maybe that's why I shouldn't be recording this at 7 o'clock at night. Oh, well, I mean, I can't speak normally anyway, so I guess it doesn't matter. But if you guys are hyped for some more sacred gold, as I was saying, make sure you smash the welcome below for us. Cause y'all already know, you should both agree with appreciate it. But with that, let's get a quick party recap. I, did go, I went ahead and off screen got the entire squad up to level 60. Cause I was originally gonna get everyone to 59, and I thought, well, you know what, what's one more level on everyone? Just, you know, make it nice and well-rounded. <clears throat> so up first we have Levi, level 60, our jelly nature to Gyarados, holding the King's Rock, Rockin' Waterfall, Crunch, Ice Fang, and Dragon Dance. Yeah, I had to change a few items as well. So you're not you're not holding the King's Rock instead of the Shell Bell. Um it just it just helps it just helps so that, like all of our Pokemon can have items. That, that, for most of them, benefit them in one way or another. Uh, next we have our newest team member, or one of our newer team members. We have Catan, level 60, our sass natured Ampharos, who is now the holder of the Shell Bell, who is rocking at Discharge, Signal Beam, Tail Glow, and Light Screen. Discharge is apparently the best electric move it gets by level up at, up until this point. Signal Beam is better is um, the best coverage move it gets. It did get Power Gem, but I neglected that because... I felt that Signal Beam was better for coverage, and plus I wanted to keep our other team moves tail though for setup, even though it's only plus two in this game instead of plus three in later games. And light screen because I mean I never I've never really like, made tactical use of screens before in a Nuzlocke, but I feel like I should change that because I, I feel like light screen could come in clutch, especially since we have uh, on for the most part we have more defensive Pokemon than specially defensive. I mean I know uh, Morgana down there has really good special defense, but. The rest of our team, for the most part, isn't the best at that, so we have light screen here in case we need it. Um, but yeah. Up next, we have our other new team member. We have Maria, level 60, our brave nature to Torkoal. Home the Charcoal, because even though she's slow as shit, I still felt that with the, with the team that we have right now, I think uh, the Quick Clash should still stay on Targarus, because otherwise I wouldn't have had a good item for Targarus. So we're holding the Charcoal, so we can power up that Lava Plume. Also, I can Body Slam, Yawn, and Amnesia. Pretty much the same moves as um, at the end of the last episode. I didn't really get anything new by level up. So, yeah. Uh, I'm actually a Tartar as level 60. Our careful nature spirit team holding the claw. Rocking Dark Post, Shazzing, Hypnosis, and Shockwave. <laughs> I was gonna say Dream Eater, because I've, 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 I've said that for like, you know, 20 episodes before I changed it for Shockwave. Um, but yeah. Nothing really changed here. I guess, you know, obviously we just got into level 60. Or got her level 60. It was literally one level, so that's, I guess that's why nothing changed. Uh, up next, another Pokemon in which nothing changed. We have Morgana, level 60, our hardy nation Umbreon. But you know what? Morgana doesn't need to change. Because he's good just the way he is. Because we're rocking Fantac, Headbutt, Payback, and Toxic. You know the drill. Also with the Amulet coin, because he's about that fucking money. Last but not least, we have Yoke, level 60, our bashful nation Zekitor, who is now holding the big root so that Giga Drain can do more damage. We're also rocking Psychic, Sleep Powder, and Worry Seed. So yeah, that's our new and improved team, our new and improved squadron. I did do, I do, I did do what I said and cleared out the rest of this route during grinding because you know there's nothing really. There was just a bunch of trainer battles, and I figured that wasn't really worth having like ha, like like a bit of an episode to cover when I can just do it off screen grinding and save myself some time instead of having to go against like wa uh, random wild Pokemon. Anyways, you guys, uh, all right, so let's go ahead and head to Mount Moon. I think we're good. All right, hello Mount Moon, and guess who's waiting for us? What up, Toro? Hey, Techno, you're here in Kanto too. Some of the trainers here are tough, which makes it easy to train my Pokemon. Techno, I know that you are strong, but I can't help but challenge you. I think that, unless they're gonna change something, this is the last battle that we will be having with Toro here. So, we'll see how it goes. He has a full team of six, as usual. Leading off with a Honk Crow, okay, I think we have a pretty solid lead for that, actually. Okay, um, do I want to go for Dragon Dance first, just to kind of... Yeah, I'm gonna go for one Dragon Dance, like I always do, just, just, just to kind of, well, for one thing, I have to scout out what he wants to do, and also just so I can do more damage. 
Uh, he goes for Thunder Wave. Interesting. Interesting. He goes for Thunder Wave. Alright. I see a big dog. I see a big dog. Let's go for a nice Ice Fang. Double Team. Oh, don't do this. Please don't do this. Please don't do this. Okay, we still land it. Plus one, you should kill, right? I know it's not stab, but it's plus one and super effective. This should kill. Or three levels above you. Please. Please, Levi. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> Didn't want to deal with that double teaming Honks card any more than I needed to. Alright. Uh, what's next? Gengar. Ooh. Ooh. Alright, let's go into Tartarus, I think. Because uh, I would go to Morgana, but I fear a Focus Blast. <coughs> And now we I know we resist Shadow Ball with Morgana, where we don't on Tartarus, but I feel like I feel like Tartarus can take a Shadow Ball better than Morgana can take a Focus Blast. I don't know, maybe I'm maybe I'm being dumb here, but that's just what I think. Uh, should I just go for the Shadow Sneak straight up? Yeah, I'm gonna go for the Shadow Sneak because I think I think I, I think Shadow Sneak should be enough to at least to a KO. I know it's I know it's pretty low base power, but at the same time we have decent attack, Gengar's defense is booty. Okay, that's a two KO. I was kind of hoping it would be an Oko, but <laughs> the one time I was hoping I'd be wrong. Um, but yeah. Alright, so we should be able to take a Shadow Ball. Ugh, I don't like that special defense drop, but a Shadow Sink should kill. A Shadow- I don't want more Shadow Sink should kill. Um, just cause, you know, based on how much the first one did. Alright, yeah, get out of here, Gengar. Get out of here, Gengar. Alright, what's next? What's next? I'll- I'll look with them! Alright, um, that's kind of scary, actually. But I can't really stay in because the special defense drops. I'm going to Morgana. <coughs> I know he has. I know. He, I know he might have Focus Blast, same as Gengar. But I really can't stay in with Tartarus with the minus one special defense because <laughs> even with a non-stab move, that thing is fisting me. All right. Um. I. I'm pretty sure. Actually, would we have speed this thing? I'm not sure. I think Fan Attack would be safe to go either way. Safe to go for either way. He missed the Focus Blast. Okay. We are slower than him, though. I kind of wish I went for Payback, because that would have done more. Um, but I didn't know if we were somehow faster than him or whatever, because, I mean, hey. We're kind of surprised me with his speed plenty of times. Uh, it's kind of annoying that he li <laughs> he barely lived that, because had I gone for Payback, it would have straight up O-Code. But, it's over. Let's go for Headbutt, I guess. Uh, all I need to do is take a Focus Blast. That's all I need to do. That is all I need to do. You heard me, Morgana. That's all I need to do. Okay. We live in boys. All right, go for headbutt. Down goes the Alakazam. Nice. That's half his team. All right, good job, team. But unfortunately, half our team is kind of beat up too. Uh, like mortar. Oh, okay. Uh, that's a yikes. That's a yikes. Cause I know Morgan. Okay, here's my thought process. I know that um, like mortar. It's gonna have an Electrotype move. Because I had one last time, I'm pretty sure. So I can't send in Levi. I also can't stay in. Because... Magmar also, also does have Focus Blast. Why does half his team have fucking Focus Blast? What the fuck? I think... Okay, uh, Targaryen, you have... Yeah, you have 167. And then 130. Okay, yeah, so I think uh, my best bet is to go into Targaryen here. And, he and I might have to heal up to be on the safe side. Just see what he goes for. And then if he and if he does a lot to me, then I'll have to figure out something else to do. Level fifty-eight, Jesus, Jesus. All right, let's go for a hydro potion. Just to be on the safe side, cause I don't know what he's gonna go for. I might have fucking fire blast and annihilate me. Uh, what are you gonna do? You have flamethrower, close enough. All right, how much that can do from full? If it does less than half, then we're good. More than half, and I need to look out. Oh my goodness, um, that's a big ol' yikes. The only thing I can do here is send in Maria, that's the only thing I can do here. I have to have a, I have to fight fire with fire. I have to fight fire with fire, this is Maria's debut. I resi we resist a flamethrower, but at the same time our special defense isn't all that. That's a crit. That's a crit. Are you serious? That's a crit. Oh my god, this is so stressful. Why, Toro? Fucking hell, relax, my guy. Relax, my guy. Alright, what are you gonna do now? You're gonna guess you go for another flamethrower, because, you know, it worked last time. Nearly Oko knew the crit last time, so, you know. 
Alright, how much I can do when it's not a crit? Oh, okay. You need to go to sleep. Oh, he has Focus Blast, of course. Of course he has Focus Blast. <sighs> that was a short-lived Torkoal. Oh my god, are you fucking kidding me? <sighs> what am I even supposed to do now? What am I even supposed to do now? I have to go into Katan. That's the only thing, that's the only option I have. Because everyone else is either, is either weak to one of his moves, or just gets blown back entirely. I need to go for Light Screen. Flanthor. All I need to do is take one, and then Light Screen should help, should help out big time. All I need to do is take one, and then Light Screen should help out big time. Okay. Okay, we're good, we're good. We can take one from half, we can take, that does less than half before light screen. Okay, so I'm gonna heal up, and then if he goes for flamethrower again, we should be good, because we have light screen up now. Do, do crits ignore light screen, or do they just do how much ever, how much, however much a crit would do through light screen? I'm not sure. I'm also not sure if what I said made any sense at all, but I don't know, we'll see. Yeah, they did nothing, okay. Uh, I'm gonna go for a tail glow. I'm gonna set up a little bit. So I want to Oko this thing. Or, or, I don't know about Oko, but I at least want to be able to do a lot. And I feel like a Tail Glow Discharge should be doing a, quite a bit. Because it's plus two. This is like a special Swords Dance in this game. So it's Hyper Potion one more time on the off chance to get the crit. And I think we should be good to go. I feel awful about Maria. Since we never even got to use Maria. <sighs> but hey. Alright, go for the Flamethrower. Okay, go for discharge, let's go for discharge. Alright, go for flamethrower again, we can take this. We can take this. We can take this. And then discharge should smack him up real good. Discharge should smack him up real good. Are you kidding me? Barely didn't Oko. Alright, Shell Bell, okay, Shell Bell did a lot though. And oh no, the light screen. Oh no, the light screen. I don't know, speed either. I might need to heal spam. I might need to heal spam. <sighs> Such, so aggravating. Of course he lives on like, a 5% HP. And of course the light screen wears off that turn. Cause if it lasted one more turn, I could get gone for discharge and it would be good. But no, of course not. Cause why would it do that, knowing my luck? I have to just go for it, I have to go for it. I just have to go for it. Cause I, 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 I can't just sit here and heal spam like this. So I just have to go for it. Okay, good, we lived. If you if you would've gotten a crit, I would've been so fucking mad, I would've probably just ended the recording. Like, that would've been it. That would've been it, dog. That would've been it. Alright, Shell Bell's probably gonna do, like, nothing. Yeah, but that's okay. Alright, what's next? What's next? Please don't be some bit busted ass shit. I'm a Ganium. You know what we just lost to? That's aggravating. And he's gonna have Earthquake. So I think my best bet is going to Yoke here. I think my best bet is going to Yoke here. And just do what we must with Psychic. God damn it, Torrin. Your ace is level 60, of course. So it's gonna take. Okay. That's terrifying. I mean, I don't really know if you'd have anything that could really fuck, fuck up Yolk, because all I can think of that you really have would be any Stab and then Earthquake. Okay, we got the drop. Okay, good. Okay, good. Good, 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 good. Seed Bomb. Okay, it's Stab, but it's resisted. It's plus two, but we have decent defense. Oh, that did nothing. Okay, I was worried for nothing. I was worried for nothing. All right, Psychic. Uh, I don't think it's going to quite kill, but it'll do, it'll put him into red at least. We got a crit. Let's go, Yolk. Let's go, Yolk. Alright, what's your last Pokemon, dude? What's your last Pokemon? Bring that ass here, boy. A Kingdra? Uh, ooh. Kingdra's kinda scary. Um... Hmm. Thinking Emoji. Thinking Emoji. I don't know what to do. I don't really... Like, 
I would say I need I need something for Kingdra, but like the only thing that's good against Kingdra in this game is other dragons. And I would, I would have to make sure to leave like the fastest dragon type alive. So he could always outspeed it and just Oko it. Uh this is this is fucking scary. Anything actually I'm going to uh, Levi. I mean we've taken down Kingdra with Levi with Levi in the past, but that's not the part that I'm worried about. Okay, uh, yeah. Dude, what? <laughs> Alright, uh, okay, I'm just gonna heal out the paralysis first, because if we're paralyzed and dealing with the Saint King Dread, that's gonna be a whole... <sighs> I don't wanna talk about that. Alright, Dragon Balls. How much, how much damage is that gonna do? How much damage is that going to do? Okay, we can take that. Um... Okay, let's go for a dragon dance. Cause I know for a fact I can't, I cannot two hit KO this thing with anything with any of my moves. So I need to dragon dance up, and of course he's gonna go for double team. Why does he have double team on like two of his moms? At least he might have had it on more, and we just didn't see. But he has double team on at least two of his moms. Toro, you dick. Oh my god, really? Stop this. That did exactly half too. I mean, if we get a min roll. He is living. Or we can miss altogether, of course. Oh my goodness. If I miss one more time, I'm speeding up. I don't give a shit. I don't give a shit. If I miss one more time... Okay, thank you. Please kill. Please get a max roll. Of course not. Why would I? Why would I? You know what? Why would I? With the kind of luck that I have, why would I? Why the... F okay, now I need to heal. Because if I miss, he is killing me. No doubt about it. If I miss, he is 100% killing me. No doubt about it. Alright, we healed up. Alright, he's going for Dragon Pulse again. Alright, we should be able to, we should, we should be good here. As long as I don't miss the next crunch, we should be A-OK. -okay. As long as I don't miss the next crunch. Thank you, Levi. See, Levi comes through. Levi comes through when I need, when I need her to. That's that. That's that's annoying. That's annoying that we, that we uh, lost Maria. Maria didn't need to die there. My training's still not good enough. My Pokemon are so weak it makes me frustrated. But I can feel that they're getting better after each battle. They're still too weak. I need to give them more training. And I should take them to Dragon's Den. See you, Techno. And actually, you know what I just realized that I didn't I didn't actually realize in the moment is that he was going for flamethrowers there on Torkoal to get it into range of Focus Blast killing. That's what he was doing. And I should have realized that sooner, but, you know, I'm stupid, so I didn't. <sighs> Ain't that about a bitch. Ain't that about a bitch. <sighs> Rest in peace, Torkoal. And I was gonna say, cause like, I was gonna say, cause it has, like, such good defense, too. Like, look at this. 187. That could have been such a great physical wall, but nope. <laughs> but nope. And now we have like what two fire types left, and they're both legendaries. So I guess we're adding one of these two to the team. Let me have a look. All right. Uh, I mean, I don't know if I, I don't, I don't know if I want to use Ho Oh or not, or if I just want to go with Entei. Um, because I feel like if I use Ho Oh, since it's like the mascot of the, of the game, then even though I don't get that many views, the few views I do get will probably flip out and like, why are you using the mascot, freaking noob? So I guess I'll go for Hokage for now. <sighs> I, I mean, I've never used either, so this will still be interesting, but yeah. <sighs> That's aggravating. Like, I wasn't even that- like, I, I'm, not even, I'm not even that upset because I, because I was attacked to Torkoal, because I, I honestly wasn't. I didn't even get a chance to get attacked to the Torkoal. But I'm just frustrated because, like... It was it was on the team for so, for such a short time and it never got really got to do anything. It just died. It just died straight up. <sighs> We're already at 19 minutes. Jesus Christ! What is wrong with me? That battle took 20 minutes. That battle took 20 fucking minutes. Maybe I really shouldn't record it. <laughs> I was like, you know what? Hey, I'll try I'll try recording it this time and see how it goes, but. Lesson learned, Techno Blaster. Do not do this ever again. All right, what's our encounter for Mount Moon? A Parasect. Uh, actually, wait. That species because we have Paris. 
We have a Paris in the PC, so that is Species Claws. That is Species Claws. Alright. Let's go up this ladder and see what's, see what's moving and shaking up here. Okay, I still only got my Mount, my, my, my Mount Moon encounter. Please be something good. A Clefairy. I honestly don't know what I expected. There's another fucking famous for inhabiting this place. Oh boy. Uh, I, I guess I think I bought some quick balls. Yeah, I did, because I found a place that sold, sold quick balls. I think they sold, I think they actually sold them in the uh, the Pewter City Pokemon Mart. So, well, I guess we'll just throw one of these, and... Bada bing, bada boom. Alright, so we call the Clefairy. Now, what do we want to name it? That is the true question. The million dollar question. I actually already know a name. I'm just being facetious. The fairy Pokemon, the moonlight that soars and the wings on its back, apparently gives it the ability to float in midair. Interesting. Well, I have one name that I've always given my Clefairies for like a while, and that is Twinkle. So then name you Twinkle. And you're gonna go to the PC, and we're gonna get out of here. Sound good? Sounds good. All right. What the, what is over here? And why why do we need two different entrances for this? Wait, is this a, is this an area? I'm actually not sure. I can go back in. I can go ahead and speed up real quick. I oh, know it's still Mount Moon. Okay. Uh, what's this? There's gotta be something here. A Max Revive. Oh boy. What is that? We are closed for the day. Shit. Please don't litter. Fuck you. I can do whatever the fuck I want. Alright. Oh, I see. And then there's a separate, separate exit over here. Got it. Okay. I don't know what the fuck this Parasect wants, but I don't like it. I don't like it, Parasect. I don't like it. Alright, Route 4. This is another new area. Uh, there's something here. I feel like there'll be something here, but I'm not gonna bother going to all that trouble to check now. Uh, alright. Let me just go ahead and scoot around this guy real quick. Uh, I'm gonna need to battle you, aren't I? Okay. Alright, bring that ass here. I can't speed up. Alright, what do you got? You got a furret. Okay, that's fine. I can beat up a furret real quick. Beat up a furret real quick. Let's go for a waterfall. Rapidash? Okay. Alright, that should be fine for a leaf eye to take care of. Flame body, of course. Roserade, alright, Roserade, um, I guess we'll go into Morgana, I guess we'll go into Morgana and go for Faint Attack a couple of times, Sweet Scent, bruh, <laughs> dog, what are you trying to pull here, alright, um, full heal, Levi, get rid of that burn, and scoop this item real quick, it's an HP up, okay, I can either use that to boost uh, one of my Pokemon's HP stats, or I can use it, Sell it for money. Alright, anyways, um, there's the grass. Alright, so let's see what our Route 4 encounter is going to be. Sir says... That species. That species claws. Get the fuck out of my face, Eradicate. Get the fuck out of my face, Eradicate. No one likes you. Literally, I, I, I don't think I've ever met a single person that actually likes Eradicate. Like, wh who who sits there and actively says, yes, I like Raticate. It's a good Pokemon. Also, we got Narbok. Which, I guess isn't too terrible. I don't know. Uh, either way, I know, what I, am, I, know, I know what I am gonna do. And that is throw a Quick Ball. Throw a Quick Ball at this Arbok. One. It breaks out, of course it does. Alright, I'm gonna need to speed up. Um, I don't know if you can live. Uh, should I go into? Uh, I'm not sure. Uh, I feel like I feel like um we can we can just go into someone here though. I feel like you can definitely live a live a um signal beam from Catan. Oh yeah, to eat those. Okay, All right, we're good. We're good. We're good. All right, one more, and we should be good to start throwing some more Pokeballs. All right, let's throw some. I don't have any Dusk Balls, unfortunately. Let's go throw an Ultra Ball, and hope for. Are you kidding me? And walk, it's gonna stay in the ball now that I have speed up on him. Oh, never, never mind. What the fuck is this Arbok doing? Thank you. Fucking hell. Arbok style sides of Pokedex. Arbok, the Cobra Pokemon. Transfixing prey with a face-like pattern on its belly, it binds and poisons the frightened victim. Yikes. <laughs> Yikes. Okay. What are we gonna name this Arbok? What do we want to name this Arbok? I don't really have a name in mind. Um, this might, be, this might be another one of those times where I look around my room and see if I can find something. Um, hmm. let me see. Let me see. 
thinking emoji. Thinking emoji. I'm trying to think of any snakes that. Hmm. Hmm. It's female, so I can't give it one of the names I, I, I was going to name it. Um. I have no idea what to name this thing. Uh, I'm just gonna go with um, O or 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 a or a or a or a or a no or a no fuck I don't know dog um. Here, I'm just gonna go with, I don't know, here, here. Fuck, I don't know, okay? I don't know. I just don't know. It's purple and it's female, so whatever. Progly, um, I'll pass on that. I would've, I'm, ha I'm happy with my Arbok. All right, let me go ahead and um, slide over here and heal real quick. And we're at 26 minutes. I kinda wanna have a longer episode t tonight. Just cause, I don't know, I feel bad about it. Having a 20 minute rival battle, but at the same time, I guess that's kind of how things go sometimes. I don't fucking know. Uh, are we still gonna have to do the nugget challenge thing? Uh, no, we're not. Route 24, okay. Uh, I guess I'll just go for a couple more encounters. Because I know I can get one on Route 25 and Route 24. So I guess I'll do that real quick and then we'll end off the episode, I guess. Because, I don't know. <laughs> I don't want to make any more stupid mistakes, okay? We can know. Pause. Do I want another weeping bell? Do I want another weeping bell? Because you guys know we had Cam already, so this thing could technically be Dupes Claws, but at the same time, Dupes Claws is optional. And off the top of my head, I'm pretty sure the only good grass type we have in the PC is Simi, the Charon. So, I mean, I, I mean, I don't know what else is here, I know that, but at the same time, cause like, I gotta decide right now. Um, cause I, I, cause I, I remember um, someone in the comment section of someone's video, I, it wasn't mine, it was someone else's that I was watching. Um, but they, they pointed out something interesting, if you, like, if you run from something, like, technically, like, like I don't know if you want to see like this, but like, if you encounter something that's dupes claws, and then you run from it, and then you notice that there's nothing, as, uh, there's, I don't know. The way, the way I was going to put it was a little weird, and it's not going to bother. Uh, I think I might try to go for this weeping bell, though. I know it's dupes, but, like I said, dupes is optional, and I wouldn't mind a, a second victory bell in case I need it. So let's go ahead and catch this weeping bell real quick. The only downside is I can't name it Cam. And Cam's like the only name I've ever given to my to my victory bells, so it's like I don't know what to name it. <sighs> All right, let me think. Let me think. Um. Hmm. I'm trying to think of like. Should I, should I name it Mac? <laughs> Cam backwards? No, I'm not going to. Uh, I might, I might, I might have to pause and figure out a good name for it. Alright, I figured it out. I know, I, I know I don't want to name this thing. I'm gonna name it London, because, I don't know. There's, I literally just looked up famous bells, and... <laughs> I know, some, some of the ways I got my names are a bit stupid, but, hey, I'm just gonna roll with it. Because, you know, there's a bell in Big Ben, and Big Ben's in London. Oh, do I really have to... <sighs> do I really, do I want to battle him, or do I want to save that for next episode? Honestly, I kind of want to save that for next episode, because this episode has kind of been a, a bit of a... A bit of a disaster, not gonna lie. So, yeah, if you, if you guys enjoyed this disaster of an episode, make sure you leave a like, because your support is going to appreciate it. But I will catch you guys in the next episode. Until then, I'm Audi5Bajillion. Bye!